so today's video is all about exactly how youtubers get those quote unquote god lobbies aka noob lobbies aka bot lobbies basically lobbies where they're just completely dominating and you're wondering why the other team has not left yet and they just keep dying and dying and dying all right so this is definitely something that a lot of you guys and other youtuber audiences have noticed as well it's like you know how are these youtubers getting these lobbies well i'm stuck with these try hard sweaty lobbies all right so i'm going to give you guys eight key tips on how to find easier lobbies in black ops 4. okay so after i give you guys those tips i'm going to play for about an hour and see how many good lobbies we get out of bad lobbies how to exactly do it i'm just gonna fast forward show you guys the results at the end or it might show me leaving a game and finding a different lobby all right so my tip number one would be to pay attention to the time of the day that you're playing if you're like me and you work a normal nine to five when you get home around maybe five or six at night Ooh, man, you are out of luck. You know, you're going to get a mixed bag of different competition. You're going to have your casuals and you're going to have your sweaties because most of the time sweaties, they love playing at night. These people are the people who are dedicated to the game and just grinding the game out and late into the night. They don't have any other responsibilities, no work, no, no bedtime, nothing. OK, so that's why if you're playing at night and you experience a harder time having easier lobbies, that is why the best time of day to play in my opinion would be between maybe 8 a.m to 1 p.m you get more of the casuals around that time so definitely try to aim to play online between the hours of 8 a.m and 1 p.m or 2 p.m at the latest now my second tip would be to pay attention to what playlist you're playing in now there is a such thing as the best place to play in if you want to play against more casual people versus sweaties so first things first is if they've got the mercenary playlist of course obviously you want to go lobby surfing in that one and also if you're going to go into the core playlist definitely play tdm or kill confirmed or even free for all i found those three playlists to be the best playlist to play in if you're trying to look for better lobbies because that's what the casuals usually play they usually just want to play something chill low-key like tdm kill confirmed or free for all but lobbies you want to stay away from are definitely hard point definitely stay away from domination those are all team-based type of game modes and in those team base obviously you need a party and if you're playing against parties of course you are going to be dying a lot and you're going to have a hard time overall they're going to coordinate even more to try to destroy you so that's why you want to completely avoid party based type of game modes so stick to tdm kill confirm and free for all tip number three is when you join a lobby make sure it's maps that you like you know i personally avoid playing dlc maps at all costs i hate it so much i can't be the only one who feels that way it's because first of all the maps are just crap you know they're not that great and second of all a lot of the sweaties they do have the map packs so if you are one of those people that downloaded the dlcs most likely you're going to be stuck with those sweaties those die hard call of duty fanatics sadly i did download the dlcs so i'm stuck with it for the whole entire life cycle and that means that all these sweaty tryhards are going to be mixed into my lobbies so make sure the map selection are maps that you like so the fourth thing you want to look for in a lobby is pay attention to people's rankings obviously if they're a bunch of master prestiges you might want to leave that lobby and look for a different one but if they're a bunch of just you know normal prestige people and there's maybe one or two master prestiges i really really worry about that too much i would probably stay in the lobby and see how it goes the fifth tip would be to pay attention to how many parties there are obviously if you've got a whole bunch of people in parties then you're most likely going to want to leave that match because like i said earlier they're going to be coordinating they're going to be communicating they're going to say hey look there's turbo man go kill him right now he's right there in the corner you know and it's just going to feel like you're just fighting this uphill battle and being a solo player like myself i find lobbies like this all the time and it sucks because i have to carry all the noobs on my team because of the player balancing and then I have to go against all these parties. So of course I'm gonna leave that lobby because it's not gonna be fun for me doing that. But if there's like maybe only two to three people in a party, then I might stick around for that lobby and see how it goes. So this is what you do when you join a game in progress. You do basically the same thing. The first thing you check is the score. Check the score. Is your team completely dominating the other team or is your team neck and neck? Is your team down by a lot? You wanna pay attention to these things. If my team is neck and neck with the other team, I will stay in that lobby. I will play it out. 
if my team is absolutely dominating that lobby i probably will stay and play it out but most likely i will leave at the end because due to the balancing of this game it's probably going to put me on the opposite team the next time and then, then i'm going to be dealing with playing against those people who are absolutely dominating when i was on their team but if we were down by a lot of course obviously you want to leave that lobby as soon as possible and then the second thing you also want to pay attention to when you join a lobby in progress is pay attention to the rankings of each player in the lobby if there's too many master prestiges on the other team clearly you want to leave that game if there's too many mass prestiges on your team just play it out but then leave at the end of that because like i said they are going to end up against you eventually and the third most important thing to pay attention to when you join a game in session is pay attention to everyone's kds you could be a high master prestige but you could have a low kd and you could be a low rank but you could have a high kd so if the other team is a one kd at most i will likely stay in that lobby and be like yo i'm about to feed on these noobs right now and i'm about to try and get a good gameplay out of it or if the team is completely negative of course obviously i'm gonna stay in the game but once the other team has a bunch of two kds and above then i'm most likely gonna leave because the answers are already in the numbers you know it just shows that they're getting more kills than they're dying and obviously you don't want to be going against that especially if your team is doing really poorly you don't want to stay in the lobby try and find a new one so for tip number seven this goes hand in hand with tip number six let's say you do join a lobby and you feel like it's worth staying in because the case ADs are not that high the first thing you also want to pay attention to when you're actually in the game playing is pay attention to the opponent's play style are they challenging you do they play like noobs are you guys doing a lot of trade kills it all depends really on how the opponents play are they anti-ing your score streaks those are a lot of other things to consider if they're not really challenging you then it obviously is a good lobby but if they're taking down your score streaks and if you're getting a lot of trade kills or they're doing a good job at killing you more than you're killing them then chances are you might want to leave that lobby and look for a new one tip number eight this is the most important one is once you find that quote unquote perfect god lobby and you're just totally dominating that lobby you're calling in all your score streaks this is the part where you just want to keep staying in that lobby because here's what happens all the casual players who just play this game every once in a while you know they they don't leave the game right away because they don't care about their KD. The good players who are on that team are definitely gonna leave as soon as possible because they care about their KD and they don't wanna mess up their stats. So they're probably gonna leave that lobby and be like, you know what, I don't wanna mess with Turbo Man. He's destroying me right now. I'll go ahead and find a different lobby. And so basically the lobby is essentially yours and it should stay this way for the next couple games. And that's when you wanna take advantage of it and get some good gameplays out of it. So uh, that's just normally how mostly every YouTuber gets gets their gameplays if you're just wondering like how the heck do they find these god lobbies so now that i've given you guys my personal eight tips let's just go straight into it i'm in the lobby right now and i'm in team deathmatch team deathmatch is one of my favorite playlists because like i said earlier most of the casuals flock to this type of playlist so we're gonna go into team deathmatch we're not gonna do anything special here we're just gonna go lobby shopping okay so we're gonna find the match and the first thing we're going to pay attention to is the maps, the ranks of the people, uh, how many people are in parties. And we're going to take that all into consideration and see if this lobby is worth staying in. And what time is it right now? It is 621 p.m. right now. And it is a Thursday. All right. So, so far, so good. Uh, we don't have any master prestiges in here. I believe maybe uh, one. There's one party right now. Of three people. Oh, wait, there is a master prestige. He's level 465. Okay, here's red flag already. Dirt shot in. I do not want to play on that map. I know it is a crappy map. It's DLC, so I'm not going to stay in here. Let's get out of here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and find another match. Oh, my goodness. It's the same lobby. All right, let me get out of here. All right, we're playing on Summit. Decent map. We got one Master Prestige in here, and we do have a couple parties, but this seems like a lobby worth staying in. So... I will be right back. I'm going to play this match. We're just going to fast forward through it and let's see the results. All right, here we go. Let's check, take a look. We got a master prestige on the other team, level 121. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try and do our best. And we're going to we're gonna evaluate how the match goes. Ooh, okay. I already got taken out right there. So I would say but when the, when the match gets to around 50 kills, we'll see how everything turns out. All right, so let me go ahead and focus and lock in. As you can see, there's already two guys on the opposite team with pretty high KDs. Six, five, and a two, and a two. Wow, wow, wow. 
All right, we got a 44 and 9, 4.89 KD. Uh, this is definitely a gameplay I would upload to YouTube. Whoa, what the heck is going on with his face right there? Uh, but yeah, if you look at the other team, they did have a couple Master Prestiges like we did saw uh, see. And like I was saying before, just because they're a high rank doesn't mean that they're going to be good. So if there's just a couple Master Prestiges, it's, it's worth staying in the game. And pay attention to the mid part of the game, you know, around 50 kills. See how the flow of the game is going and just uh, evaluate whether or not you want to stay in there or not. For me, I absolutely dominated that match, uh, regardless, even if they were in a party, and regardless if there were Master Prestiges on the other team, uh, just because I felt like, you know, that's just not enough reason for me to leave this lobby. Going back to tip number eight, I said to dominate the lobby, which I've already done, and stay in this lobby. So these Master Prestiges, these 121 and 371, they should leave this match, uh, but... If they really don't care about their KDs, they're going to stay in this match. And I'm going to be dominating this match for the rest of the whole night. Hopefully, if they want to stay in here and they don't care. It looks like a lot of people from the same match are staying in here. Uh, but what you could do is some detective work. Look at your old team and see who did really well. So Cosmite did really well and Mr. Killa. But Cosmite, more so, we have to worry about. But mostly, it's going to be this guy that we have to worry about. Let's see if he's still in the lobby. He is still in the lobby, so chances are he might be on the other team, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so it is now 6.31 p.m. Still playing, not too late at night. 6.31 is about the time when a bunch of casuals and, you know, sweaties do play at the same time. So we talked about Cosmite, right? Let's see if he's still in here. Huh. He hasn't joined in yet, I guess. All right, so in theory, since we dominated the last game, we should be able to dominate this game. Cosmite has left. He's not in here anymore. So in theory, we should have an easy time with this lobby. Okay, so far so good. All right, so we're approaching the mid mark of the match right now, and I'm looking at the score. They are catching up right now. We were dominating in the beginning of the match, uh, but I'm still going to stay in this lobby just because I'm personally doing well. Uh, I think they're just getting on a momentum run right now. Okay, let's see. So I'm two. I got a 2.5 KD right now. There's two people on their three people on their team that are doing pretty well, close to two KDs. So right now it's evenly matched. I think I'm carrying most of the load for my team. We're only up by five right now, but I'm going to stick to this match and see how we do at the end. Maybe we can make them rage quit. Okay, so I am struggling just a little bit now. The other team has found some momentum. Uh, yeah, they're doing a lot better now than they were in the beginning. I'm not sure if people left the lobby and new players joined. I wasn't paying attention, but that could have happened or they just started working together they are in a party as well as you can see but we got to keep pushing we could try and stay see okay what so happens. at this point there's definitely no reason for me to stay in this lobby they've completely turned it around and uh we'll stay until the ends just so we can see my final result it's crazy how you could just start off the game really well and then the tables turn on you okay uh, we finished with a 2.3 kd 35 kills, 15 deaths. Look at the rest of my team. Uh, they didn't do as good as the other team. The other team had a 2.8, 1.5, 2.0, 1.53. 2 so they definitely did make a comeback. These two Master Prestige people and this guy in the third place definitely held it down for their team. This is an example of a lobby that I will not stay in. Even if I did fairly okay, I was able to hold my own. So just because I leave a game doesn't mean that I did terrible or I'm struggling. It's just that as far as YouTube standards go, a 2.3 and not really calling in all my score streaks is just not going to cut it as far as entertainment purposes. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this lobby and try to find a all new right, one. So we're definitely leaving this lobby. <clears throat> okay, we're going to find a new one. So this is now game three. Uh, let's see what time it is right now. It is 641 right now. All right. Let's see what we got here. So we got... Uh, a couple parties going on. More than half the lobby is in a party. We're playing on Gridlock. I like Gridlock. And there's only one Master Prestige, so this might be something worth trying out. So I'm definitely going to try this uh, lobby out. All right. Okay. So the Master Prestige ended up on our team. And, uh, yeah. I guess now our 
chances could be a lot higher now of doing well in this All right, so they are leaving the game right now, as you can see. I've definitely made them rage quit. I'm 11 and 1 right now. So it's safe to say I am dominating this lobby for sure. So I'm expecting some new players to come in, so pay attention to how these new players handle what's going on right now. And look at your own team at the same time. We got a 3 KD, 2 KD, and a 6 KD on our team. So more likely than not, these players that are on my team are probably going to end up on the opposite team in the next game, but we shall see. Right, so as you can see, we're at that midway mark right now in the game. And we are definitely up by more than half right now. So this would definitely classify as a good lobby and a lobby that you would want to stay in. But like I said, we'll see how the cards play for the next match. So this is probably an example of a quote unquote YouTube gameplay that I would upload. I mean, I got an 8 KD right now. I'm doing pretty good. All right. So I got a 35 and 8, 4.3 KD. Yo, I got my score streaks twice. So I would definitely classify this as a YouTube gameplay. Look at the other team. They did pretty bad. But look at my team, though. This is the tricky part. Ratchet War got a 28 KD. This guy did not die. He's really good. 200, Master Prestige. And we got a 2.6 KD and a 1 KD. So we'll see next match. And we'll keep an eye on these gamer tags and see if they end up on the other team. And then we'll just kind of, you know, feel it out, see how it goes and decide whether or not we want to leave. All right. So I already do not like the map Havana. So I'm probably going to leave this lobby. And the fact that Ratchet War is in this lobby still, uh, he was the dude that was killing it. I'm probably going to leave this lobby right now and look for one more lobby. All right. So I already got uh, some pretty good lobbies so far. So let's do this one more time and you guys should be able to get the idea by now like how I and, and other YouTubers get their lobbies. Okay, so I'm looking at it right now. Lockup is a DLC map. I'm not a fan of DLC maps and I'm looking at all those master prestiges right now. We got at least one, two, three, four master prestiges. No, thank you. I'm good off that. Let's see if we can find another one. All right, so we got a couple parties here. We're playing on Militia, decent map, and we got two master prestiges right there so let's stick around in this game we'll play it through and we'll uh adjust adapt or you know we'll leave or we'll stay we'll see what right, happens. it is now 6 53 p.m so this is around about the time where i just either use whatever gameplay i have or just give up and try again the next day because i gotta go to bed in about a couple hours after this, I got to edit, you know, man, I wish I could just do this YouTube thing full time. I would definitely wake up super early to get all these nice lobbies. Whoa. Okay. All right. So this game is a really good example right now. We're down big, but uh, looking at the way the players are playing against the uh, against me, it seems like a very doable lobby to to win against and to do well against. Hey, somebody. okay so right now we're getting overrun they are making a comeback we did get on a run and we also made a comeback but it looks like right now they're catching up to us uh other team is doing pretty good it seems it seems very even right now all right so we lost that match we did all right like you know we did make a comeback but you know my team just wasn't good enough to you know help me pull off the win Ooh, I want to watch this real quick. What did I do right here? Man, I had some uh, pretty mean streaks this game. Just doing whatever to, it takes to, to come back and win. You know, this is an example of a gameplay that I might make a video out of. Like, you know, like how to, you know, hold your own in a lobby against like players that are, you know, pretty decent and you're just trying to carry. So as you can see, there was a 3.27 KD on the other team. Uh, we did lo lose. They were calling in a bunch of their score streaks towards the end. So that's a red flag for me. So um, just play the game out, see how it goes. And then at the end of the match, you can evaluate if you were doing well and then they come back and beat you guys. But I personally felt like the lobby was pretty easy, in my opinion. Even if we lost, you know, I did relatively well. I mean, I had a 2.31 KD. Uh, oh, that's not even on my team. That's not even the right teams. Uh, but anyways, guys, yeah, we did lose. 
and i hate this map as well so we we you know i'm not there's no reason for me to stay in this lobby so i'm just gonna go ahead find another match and do the same thing so don't forget to apply these things i'm gonna cut it short right here it is now seven o'clock right now so this is about the time that i'm gonna try and hop off you know see what i got what gameplays i got from today and just make some content out of it you know that's how it happens uh and as you can see even if i did well you know, it just doesn't always make the cut for YouTube. I hope you guys did learn something today. Don't forget to drop a like if you did. Uh, support the channel. Subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member. And if you are interested in joining, there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you. Remember, this is not required by any means. And I appreciate all the support, whether you're a member or not. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.